This video will demonstrate how to create a person contact within Carrot Legal. Moving to the top right and using our quick add option, you'll see a pop out menu which includes a dedicated section for contacts. Here, click New Person. This will pop out a new person modal where you'll be asked to provide the various details for the person contact. On the general tab, you'll see a field for salutation. Use this dropdown whenever possible as the salutation will provide pronouns where possible in places like our document automation. Next, enter your first, middle, or last name. The first and last name are required as denoted with the purple sliver within each text field. Where needed, you'll also have an area to place a suffix. Next, enter any title for the person. To the right of that, you'll see a drop down for looking at company contacts. If the company contact already exists, you could link the person to that company. However, if that company does not yet exist, you'll see a plus sign to the right so that you can add the company as you go. Beneath that, you'll have a drop down to organize your contact by type. This will include generic options like attorney, broker, doctor, etc. This is a customizable list through your firm settings. To the right of that, you'll see an area for contact tags. These are various identifiers in the form of keywords or phrases that you can use to link to the person. Tags can then be used as a filter to find this person later. The next section includes your telephone numbers. Pick your telephone number type, enter your phone number, select whether this is a primary phone number in the instance you have more than one number to provide. If you need additional telephone numbers to be added, click the plus provided on the bottom right corner of that section, designate the telephone type, and enter that number. Again, in instances where there are more than one phone number, you will want to designate one as primary. Our next section covers email addresses. Here, you will want to put in a valid email where possible. You can use the plus sign to add additional email addresses. And once again, you will want to designate one as a primary email, and in this case, specifically a billing email address. The next section will allow you to add various physical addresses. You'll pick the address type, and enter the corresponding information. Here too, you can place more than one address. Using the plus sign button provided, you can add extra addresses to the person's contact card. Beneath that, we have a section for IMs. Using the IM type dropdown, select the platform, and enter the address. Beneath that, you'll see a few extra fields, things like a person's website, date of birth, and general notes. For the notes field, this is a limited space. If you need to cover additional information and it's larger than this note section provided, we encourage you to use contact custom fields so that that data has a more appropriate home. Any of the fields you see under this notes field will be a contact custom field. In this example, you'll see fields for things like social security, spousal information, and driver's license. When done, go ahead and click Save. In my example, I already exist in this database, so the system will warn me that I'm about to create a potential duplicate. I can still choose to create that contact anyway. On the bottom left, I'll see a green confirmation banner letting me know the person has been saved. That person's contact card will now be found in the dedicated contact section and can be managed from there. Management of contacts will be covered in another video. This video has demonstrated how to create a person contact within Carrot Legal.